during their orgasm. You see, I, I haven't read the comic. I just know the premise. So I, okay. I know that when they orgasm, they time Rado. stops. Yeah, demonetized. Uh, demonetized. So anyway, <laughs> so when they have yes. sex and they and they have an orgasm, time is stopped. Okay. And the whole premise is like they they, <laughs> they find the other person who has the ability to like that that like so when they have sex with each other and they both climax. Yeah. Time is stopped and they're able to like rob banks and shit. That's oh, so why, they have another person. That's, that's why like, it's called sex it, criminals. An inside person who's like out, like out there like. See, I have no idea. People. I haven't read that actual comic. I just know that the premise. I'm just like that le- sounds so. Horny. Wait, I'm assuming they have to have like some some form of communication, right? No. So like it, the inside like... man's communicating to them, but listening to them while they're having sex because think about it. Like, how are the people having sex going to have to I tell them that how they have to go? I'm rob a, a place. I assume it's two people who individually have the power. They have sex. And then time is stopped, and then they just go rob the bank while time is frozen. Because I don't know how long time would be frozen for. Because they, I'm like, assuming the I, duration I have, of how have, long they I have not last. read this book. I just know of the book. Okay, now what if I take like Viagra or something? Does that mean time no, lasts? No, no, it's like, only like, when you climax. Oh, okay. So that would actually probably make it harder. Okay, that would be worse. Though. But you probably get multiple shots in a row if you mess up. Okay, yeah, that's true then. And could you stop time in a stop time? Like, if the she climaxes I'm first... This. I'm so sad in this. Uh, so, like, if she climaxes first, and then the guy climaxes after her, is it he stop time within her pause time? Or is it the overlapping pause yeah, time? It's, 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 like, it's like Inception, so it compounds over yes. itself. So she Brian, stops time Brian, first. I'm, you know why you like to climax? I thought you were kidding. I'm not more kidding. Oh, okay. <laughs> delete that, delete that, delete that. Oh, no, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, welcome to Cosmic Talks. We are we have two guests with me. Technically, they're my only. Well, we can't have. You know what? You got. You get the idea. There you go. Great start. <laughs> we have events fails. So Colin fail and Dean to Bean. So, what's the, what? So that was uh, the intro, right? Yes, it was. They, yeah, it was. That was a bad intro. Too. No, that was a great intro. <laughs> do it again. No, no, no. We've already we had like two different takes. Team, we can't do this again. I mean, you can. It's not that hard. That, I'm telling you, that's the intro we're sticking with. Oh, okay. My <laughs> bad. All right. That sounds good. Okay. Let's talk about the Batman movie. Oh, yeah. That's coming out. The yes. New one. Battinson. Battinson. Oh, uh, yes. Because apparently adding the word the suddenly makes it a new movie. Now you're thinking. <laughs> now you're <laughs> thinking like, like DC. <laughs> hey, they had, I mean, they had, a, they had a The Batman back in the day. Like, remember that show? You yeah, had? The Batman. So is this yeah. The Batman 2? No, it's no. It, you're, 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 the show. Well, no, because there was the Batman Dracula or something like that. Oh, Remember the that? Batman versus Dracula. Yeah, the Batman versus Dracula. So technically, he's right. This is the second the Batman movie. Yeah. But it's not in the same universe. You know, Batman needs to fight vampires. More. Wait, it's the second the Batman. He really reboot. should. It fits. It kind of fits his thing. No, it's it, it's like um, you know, one day you're gonna make Batman. I mean, Superman, Superman actually fought Dracula one time. Yeah, that's boring. Superman's like too strong for like. Earth things. You don't like su- superpower characters. No, no, I love superpower characters. Spider Man is awesome. Yes, he Hulk is. Hulk is awesome. Thor is awesome. But like Superman's like, it's unrealistic for something to be on, on, something on Earth to be stronger than Superman. You know what I mean? It has to come from the stars. Okay, that's my. That's, this is my hot take. We should. That's the biggest complaint I've ever heard about Superman. It's the reason why he's the number two, not and he's not the number one. Wait, who's the number one? Batman, because people don't have good taste. There, I said it. Batman's a wow. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I love Batman. He's just like I just hate see. Every time I see him with the Justice League, he always acts like a smug, arrogant, cocky a hole. Well, he thinks he's better than everybody. It's because no, he's no, Batman. that's great. I hate when people say that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's because he's the Batman. Shut yeah. up! It's not true. Sorry, he's the I Batman. am vengeance. I am the knight. I am the Batman. It's because he's he, he's emo and goth. And is that what Tom King was going for? I want to say Tom King so. is a is a comic writer, and mm-hmm. like at the beginning of it, like every story, we started with like I am I am uh, Gotham, I am Suicide, I am Bane, I am whatever. Yeah, so he's going. I he's think going what he was I going. I, I think what he was going for was I like the last three would be I am Vengeance, I am the Knight, I am Bat. I mean, he could have been brown nosing uh, the actually, Iron Man. Wait, face. Dean, you actually read it? No. No, I'm just giving him like the premise. Yeah, I, I mean, he could be brown nosing the Iron Man. We're thing, supposed to talk about I am Iron Man. I am Iron. No. <laughs> we were watching uh, Arcane, and as we were watching Arcane, the J- uh, Jace Fail. was hamless. Ha- Hell. What? You, what? Or no, 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 no. Let it, let it happen. Oh, yeah. God, this is magic. Yeah. <laughs> so he was hammering the thing in the in his iron like his workshop, and Brandon and I both go, I. Ah. Damn, <laughs> Iron Man. That's so deep. It's, it's, the, it's, the, it's yeah. the same thing from the animated series. It really is. Oh, man. Yeah. 
in the show. God, what Jason is, what a horrible show. show. <laughs> Not Arcane. Wait, uh, what? Ar- uh, yeah, I was about to no, say. No, Arcane's great. Yeah, the Iron Man. 90s yeah. Iron Man. Oh, 90s yeah. Iron Man. Horrible show. Oh, I but an know. amazing adaptation, can I just say. They did like almost a like, perfect uh, version of Armored Wars. From the I heard season, season, one was bad. season one was worse than season two. See, I, I wanted the toys from that, but I could never find them anywhere because no, no no area sold 90s toys for me. That's why I was never able to get... Spider-Man. How do we go from Batman to G- Arcane to this nonsense? Magic. Magic. Speaking of magic, Arcane's really good. <laughs> yes. So, uh, uh, and speaking of magic, you know who else is magic? Who? Zatanna. Zatanna. And you know who sleeps with both Zatanna and Dick uh, Grayson? Who? Batman. No wait, shoot! No, he does not sleep with Dick Grayson. <laughs> actually, you know minute. who you know who sleeps with Batman and Dick Grayson? Zatanna. That's what I. Mean. That's how. Boom! I work. I worked it all the way back to Batman. <laughs> Isn't that like pedophilic though? No, it's it's both pedophilic and grooming. Oh, I got the. I got the. And name. incest. You know what? Stop! Stop! No, uh, no, keep going. No. So Batman. Uh, what were we talking about? <laughs> I don't fucking know. All right. this is awesome. I'm supposed to leave this damn podcast, but you said we'll take it on the spotlight. You're going to be the best character. Because if we, live, if we left it up to you, you'd be pausing the recording every 15 seconds. So we're no. just letting this happen for like 40 minutes. Okay, so. okay. i got to reel this back in. i reel this right. back in. So, The Batman. The Batman. Okay. So far, I'm hyped. I don't... Uh, I've read, recently read the Earth One Batman series, the Volume One and Volume Two. I have not yet read Volume Three, but I am very impressed. Oh my God, Volume Three is batshit. So I'm, no pun intended. Uh, so, so this is completely out of context for me. Is this just a fully blown like reboot again? Yes, unfortunately. Well, actually, no, no not unfortunately. No, hold, no wait, hold on, hold on. So, so this was supposed to be in the DCEU or World of DC, whatever the hell they're going with now. But now it's but, not. But yeah, because this is supposed to be Ben Affleck's movie. He was supposed to direct this, but since DC, the ECU executives are fucking idiots. So this would have been the fourth movie in his, the trilogy technically, or no? Second, uh, third, or third. I mean, sorry, not fourth. Yeah. It was supposed, this movie was supposed to come out two no, years ago. No, you're right. It was be the fourth because he. I forgot he was in Suicide Squad. Yeah, he he did do three. Yeah. He was supposed to be in, like he's, this movie was supposed to come out two years ago. I just simply remember seeing the Wikipedia page where it's supposed to be the Batman was coming out in 2020. Yeah. I mean, well, COVID. Well, COVID. So. I mean, yeah, we, no one yeah. could have predicted COVID. Yeah. We I lost mean, a year. That doesn't count. Exactly. No, that's, the, that's our void. I, I want a refund on that year. <laughs> uh, so, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Vol- okay, so, yeah. Volume 1 and 2. I enjoy that series the most because Batman sucks so much. He's so bad. But but, that's, but I love it, though, because Batman, he's always acting like this, unfi- un- this unbeatable, merry, scary stew. And I'm like... Really, really, no one, not even Dark Side, can beat this guy. Seriously, no, but, it, but Earth One. That's why Earth One's great because Batman is awful. Yeah, he's like the worst. <laughs> he's like, wow, literally anyone would be a better Batman than you. <laughs> Alfred, we ba- Alfred's the goat in that series. Yeah, oh, uh, you. So you haven't read Earth One. Earth One is yeah. like uh, it's a it's like a reboot of DC. Yeah, I remember I, you telling me yeah. that. It's yeah, like, it's, we're... It's, it's the it's the ultimate universe. It's D- DC's answer to the ultimate. Yeah, universe. it's the ultimate universe, like all in one, right? But basically, good. but good. Yeah. Well, D- the ultimate universe was good, but it got bad. Yeah. Sorry, I don't like Bendis. He's not my biggest fan. So, uh, so like Bendis, uh, you do you, but sorry, I don't like Bendis. Earth One's amazing because there's. <laughs> The Batman costume, I, I love it. First off, let me just say that. it's so stupid. That's why I love it so much. Really, <laughs> whenever you, you can, can see, the, you eyes. can see the eyes. Yeah, that's what I was gonna and say. And it just adds an element of, oh, that's a, just a crazy guy in a costume. Yep. <laughs> it, it, it like takes it takes all the 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 like the myth- mythological oh, like greatness oh, about it. Well, <laughs> yeah, it, it's 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 a sense of mysticality, honestly, and they yeah. and they kind of remove that layer, which caused it to just look like, oh, he's just a guy like a crazy guy but and there's a part insane. where he has a grappling hook right and he's aiming it to like the ledge yeah. and he fires it and then he goes because he got it off like amazon or something yeah and you just see his eyes go like oh, oh he <laughs> like goes, oh, oh fuck sh- <laughs> and then and then he literally falls in, in garbage because he's trash i yeah. mean that leaves room for expressions at least and right. honestly okay we're heading to spoiler terry so sorry the best character in this series was unsurprisingly killer croc yes Really? Yes, he could. You know Robin? Yeah. He's no. the Robin. Actually, no, I don't know Robin. I don't. 
Okay, no, so, who, who is that? All right, so which Robin are we talking? Shut up, <laughs> yeah. Shut up, Thank you. Now you're talking Shut about up, it. Now the question is, no, how many no, Robins no, no, do you no, think no. there are? <laughs> okay, there's, okay. Really? Wait, did you say there's either four or seven, or was it like it's, a, it's between four, four, four and, and six. six? That's what it was. It was four and six. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I realized, Depending I on the right. something, there's no stopping brain when it comes to tangents. Yes. So like he's like he's he's chaos. I'm somewhat order, and Dean's just. I'm just soaking it all in, man. I'm That's natural. It. I'm, I'm chaotic neutral. <laughs> you chaotic neutral. Dean is chaotic go. evil. You I, are chaotic. I go where it with it. Order, chaos, yeah, yeah. neutral. So, uh, That's dynamic trio. Yeah, so there's anywhere between four and six Robins, depending on the writer. Yeah. Sometimes there's only three. Uh, <laughs> because, you know, Tim. Exactly, but yeah. we don't talk about it. Yeah, but they, they don't like Tim. Really, back in. Back right, to right, Killer Croc. Uh, Killer Croc's the bro, because Batman... Is like fighting the Riddler, yeah. and he goes into the sewers hunting the Riddler. Yep. Who? Oh man, could you? Okay, so let me finish telling. <laughs> let me finish telling this, and then I'm, I'm gonna gush about like what if this is in your, in the Batman movie. Okay. Uh, so he Batman goes into the sewer looking for Riddler because the Riddler is like hiding out in in, in, in the sewers, yeah. and then he. Killer Croc. That's like, do you, do you I know who Killer Croc fucking is. bursts out of the water and attacks him. Batman's like, what the fuck are you? <laughs> and they fight. So and then they're, that's they're, great. They're, that's let me finish. So they're fighting, and as they're fighting, Batman's like, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You're not like a monster. What are you? And he's like, I'm a guy. I'm Waylon Jones. So like, I'm I'm a, I have a skin condition. <laughs> and Batman's like, wait, so you're a guy? Yeah. What the fuck? It's almost like lizard. <laughs> yeah, it's like a lizard. Except he that's, was born that way. <laughs> that's great. Oh man. Oh, and I want that to be in the Batman the movie where Batman's hunting Riddler okay, okay. goes in the sewers. Killer Croc busts out. He's like, "What the fuck are you? Let's go! Let, <laughs> I'm, like, like, I'm a bat. You're a Croc. Let's go!" I'm gonna be real here. He was doomed the moment his parents decided to name him what name Whalen. Like who in who in this world is named Whalen? Seventies name. Oh yeah, that makes more sense. Well, was our uh, demographic to, has now shifted down from 100% to a 99% for all the people in the world named Waylon, so thanks. Because yeah. they're not listening anymore. Everyone <laughs> named Waylon, just it's unsubscribed. <laughs> I'm sorry. If your name's Waylon, you're cool. You're awesome. They're, you're, yeah, you're, our Waylons are cool. <laughs> the ones in the universe yeah. aren't. Except for the Waylon in Suicide Squad. <laughs> he looks like a bobble. <laughs> So is he supposed to be black? I think he is. I think he's like Tombstone, where it's like impl- he's implied to be of a certain race. Okay. You well, know, this Tombstone. Is, Tombstone. He's like he has a black sense. So. This movie was supposed to originally start, um, well, come out in 2015. Yeah, that's. Sad. It was supposed to come out uh, when they announced Batman versus Superman: Dawn of Justice. Yeah. Stupid name. Um, they were saying like, yeah, after this, we're gonna have the Batman. Then we're gonna have a Flash movie, Wonder Woman movie. Aquaman movie. Yeah, and that's when things are starting to look up. Yeah, and then uh, Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice, again, stupid name, comes mm-hmm. out, and then uh, it didn't make a billion dollars, because how do you how does the Batman vs. Superman movie not make a billion dollars? How do you mm-hmm. fuck up that badly? Uh, and that's literally the best thing, literally, with every maybe na- year old Maybe now it's made a billion dollars, I'm not actually sure, but mm-hmm. at the time it didn't, which was like, a hum- like, it's not a flop, but... In movie terms, it's a flop because you have two of the most marketable characters in history. Now, did they tease any other characters? Okay, in, so uh, the Batman. Trailer? Okay, so Prieto, the Catwoman. So Prieto, I oh, always yeah, gave WB the yeah. benefit of the doubt. I always blame the bad, the badness of the DCU on Zack Snyder. I I, 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 re- I quickly that. I realized that WB are fools because what you told for people you told me about that quote about Man of Steel yes okay so for people who don't know what I'm talking about there's a quote I don't remember where it, where the quote came from but there was a quote that when Man of Steel was coming out the executives of DC wanted the movie changed for the rocket ship that Superman came in uh, to not be destroyed because according to them how was he going to get back to Krypton if the rocket's destroyed and to when I heard that I was like you guys are the dumbest the dumbest assholes. And how are, how can you be so okay. dumb and so rich at the same time? Okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm I, I, I at that moment you told me that I always get better, WD the benefit of the doubt because they because they were still giving out some pretty decent WD animated movies. But here's the thing. Superman is the thing is the character people think of when you hear the word su- superhero. He's the most not he's not the most iconic superhero. He's the most iconic character in all of fiction. His, his he symbol, trans, his he symbol, transcends across oceans. His symbol is more recognizable than the symbol for Jesus Christ. <laughs> that, that movie came out in 2013. It is. Yeah. Yeah. It's that Batman. Movie. It's no. It's Batman, Superman, Spider-Man, then Jesus Christ. And that movie 
That movie came out in 2013. Superman is like almost 75 years old. Where the hell were you the last 70 years? Well, you gotta remember, he, a lot he, of them no, were probably no, born no, before no. that. His story gets retold over and over and over again. There's a character named Goku with an, exa with an exact same origin. How do you mess that up? Well, because... You know what's another funny thing about Zack Snyder? I, I think it's oh, both man. I think it's both their faults. Zack Snyder and the executives of DC and Warner Brothers, etc. Because Zack Snyder should not have been chosen to make a, a Superman movie. Because Superman's all about hope and like overcoming things and stuff like that. Like is the, the best of humanity. But in that movie, he is someone who does not want to be Superman. He doesn't even look like he wants his powers. Oh man, people are gonna have words in the comment section about this. <laughs> uh, yeah, but because like, you, you have you're the guy who has the unpopular opinion, and people want to like basically throw out dislikes, the uh, middle fingers, and say a bunch of words we cannot say because I want to keep this I mean, podcast. It's a, it's a good thing you can't see dislikes anymore. Yeah. So, uh, well, Technically, I, we have a 100 percent up <laughs> vote <laughs> ratio. PG thirteen. Yeah. So. Uh, mm -hmm. um, I think that he should never have been allowed to touch Superman because his vision for it is just not what this character is. I do think his costume does suck, though. Because it, it is like a problem with most superhero movies nowadays. They have, if you look, zoom into the costume, they have like little bumps all over it. What's the deal with that? What do you mean? Where it's like, Are you, you mean like texture? Yeah, like look up the Man of Steel costume. It has like these little bumps all over yeah, it. Yeah, I know what you're I talking don't about. Know what yeah. the, like, I don't get what you're trying to say. I think it's so it looks better on camera. Yeah. But a, I, I don't like it. it okay, well, would you rather have like just one solid color or would you rather have something with a little bit of texture See, and on? that's where I, I, I give a few... I, like, I, I don't know my own feelings. I actually like the Man of Steel in, one. I in, feel like um, that costume looks good because it's dark. Spider-Man in the Marvel movies. Yeah, come, up, come over here real quick. I don't get what you're trying to say. The texture. Like, yeah, the, the texture. Bumps. Like, look at the texture. I guess it has like these little I think it's bumps. Move, I think it's more for move, movability. Or uh, it's like, the type of the material is the, what it is in probably. The Spider-Man costumes in the Marvel movies, it's yeah. a solid color. Like I don't think they have those little bumps because it's mostly CGI. No, I get what you're saying. And, and yeah. but that one looks okay. Weird. Now that okay, I watched this movie in 2013. I like I thought it was hype as heck. Now I see it now. Now I have more of a grasp on super who Superman is. I see this picture now. He. Henry Cavill, he looks like Superman. It's his costume just feels a bit bleak and sad and depressing. Yeah, and like I'm, this has been said a billion times, so yeah. I'm just gonna like jump on it. Yeah. What? He, the, dude, I, I looked up Man of Steel act, uh, suit, and I found a link on Limited Run for Man of Steel oh, accurate full finish suit display sculpture. So this is somebody who. Whew. That yeah, he that. was working on the texture for the type of material for it. So here's what it looks like up close, real quick. Yeah, you see what I'm talking about? It's like the little rings or something. It's it's this rubber material, and it's specifically used for flexibility. Yeah, so I'm thinking it's either maybe it's easier to move in when when it's laying for stuff, or it just looks better on camera. I'm yeah. thinking it's a mixture. Yeah, of both. there there's there's the that, there's like a close up of it. Like yeah, that, yeah. that really doesn't bother me because I think I saw that in like, the Amazing Spider movies. I like those. I had a problem with those too because. The the second the second movie. You're a hard man. To, you're no, a hard man. To the please. first, if you I rewatched those Amazing Spider movies. The first one, the suit is so bad in that movie. It, it looks how can something look so expensive and so horrible at the same? I liked it because reminded me of Ben Riley. I didn't. You know what it is? It's the black eyes. Because my sister doesn't. Give, my sister doesn't give a shit about the Spider Man movies. Okay. But really, and when she saw the Amazing Spider Man, she's like, well, his costume looks. On the Earth. They're not gonna agree. We're not gonna agree on everything. Well, yeah, I know. Right, but like, we were I don't know. The Spider Man movies have always been like, no pun intended, kind of the closest to home. Oh, let me agree. She doesn't give a shit about comics. Oh, okay. So well, like, that's probably why. So of not. And, until No Way Home, yeah, No Way Home was coming out. Also a dumb naming scheme, by the way. Uh, when No Way Home was coming out, uh, she was like, oh, if they're gonna be in there, yeah, I'll watch them. So it's like you, she has to be forced into watching them to like understand to want to watch them. So she was watching the Amazing Spider-Man one, and she was like, "That costume looks really bad." And you know what? It is? It's the black eyes. He looks like a he looks like a super villain because he doesn't have white eyes in that movie, and he has he has the same stuff of the Man of Steel costume. It's that it's worse because it look it's more noticeable. Mm -hmm. yeah. But then in the sequel, Amazing Spider-Man two, it's the best Spider-Man costume today. It just looks amazing, especially in the daytime. Oh, I thought they were yellow. I thought they were... Oh, they look yellow. They're yellow in the game. That's why I thought they were yellow. That's the problem. 
you know, he, he looks like a bad guy in that one. And I, and my sister saw it. She didn't. She doesn't care about that stuff. And even she was like, he looks. He looks like a bad guy. Which uh, I know what they were going. They were going for like the dark and edgy Spider-Man. Like, what if Spider-Man was in the real? What, what if Spider-Man was real in the real world? You know, with giant lizards and stuff and holograms. And, and, All and, right. And I'm sky sorry. gas. Oh, Brandon, Brandon, I'm sorry. I played this clip a million times, but it me- needs saying. It needs saying. It needs saying. No, no, but I'm pra- I'm praising the hell out of the second costume. Hold on, hold on. This this is for Brandon here. I'm tired of you yapping. All you ever do is complain. You never try to make things better. 